The main challenge here for me was how to turn this man into water form. I mean, it should be transparent. You can see through it whatever the background was. And at the same time, it needs to have form. It needs to be 3D object. Also, it needs to look like it's water. So we need to add some bubbles, some splashes. And of course, finally, we need to spice everything with effects and color grading. And that is what we will try to do in this tutorial. So without any further ado, let's dig into this. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Noor and this is Noor Art Channel. Okay, let's jump straight into today's advertising visual and let me tell you a brief about the concept behind creating the idea of this advertising visual. So firstly, as obvious, this is an ad for water brand, which is Nestle. And the main concept behind the idea itself was inspired by a fact that 60% of your body as a human is water. So choose the best brand for it. That was the main concept. And the idea, as you can see, I tried to make the body of the human look like it consists of water and that's it. So how did I do this water effect? To be honest, it was not easy. If I want to make it 100% realistic, I should have used 3D programs and it would take me a lot of time to create something like this. So I decided to make it in Photoshop. So how did I do this? Firstly, I searched for water references or something glassy like this and started to notice and analyze how this object looks like it's ice or water or glass. Number one, I found out it should be, of course, transparent. So you need to see through it. You need to see the background. Number two, it has only the shadows. As you can see here, it has only the shadows and the highlights. There is no local color for the object, except it is somehow bluish. Uh, tone, but it is transparent. So how can we turn this man into a water or a transparent object? That's what I started to think about. So I'm now trying to tell you why or how the process of thinking itself rather than just getting into the tutorial. And I want you to become a problem solver. I want you to know how to think in solving problems. So how can we extract the highlights and the shadows from this man? The first thing you may think about is blend if sliders. So you can just double click into the layer and remove the shadows and then you will have the highlights. But the problem here is that you have a lot of pixels here which will give you not smooth result. So we need to simplify the uh, image of the man and then uh, try to make the effect again. Let's start by creating a new layer in the background. Let's give it some bluish color like this. Press OK, put into the background. And firstly, I will remove the color from the, the image of this man. So I will duplicate it and let's just hide this for a moment. And let's press Ctrl U and remove the color from it. Secondly, I'll simplify the pixels by filter, stylize, oil paint. This filter will simplify the pixels and it will give you somehow smooth textures, which we want here. Uh, playing around with the properties and then press OK, it will give you this effect. Very cool. Now we need to simplify it more. We need only some, let's say, six values of lightness. So how can we do this? From the adjustments, let's go to posterize effect. This effect only keeps number of values. So two no, two values is black and white. If I make it three, then you will have black and white and 50% gray. If you increased it to a good limit with, let's make it six, this is good. 
and then let's make clipping mask and let's uh, select the two layers and right click convert to smart object now if we double click into the layer and removed the darks you will only keep the highlights as you can see right now and the opposite uh, the same thing so if we remove the highlights you will keep only the shadows and that is exactly what we want so let's duplicate this and let's n name one of them shadows and the other one let's name it lights or highlights okay and let's hide both or hide the lights and let's go to the shadows double click on it and let's remove the highlights we will just keep two values I think yeah these two values then press ok and let's go to the lights double click and remove the shadows and let's keep two values in the highlights yeah I think this is good then press ok very nice now we have highlights and shadows and we have transparent background so if we have some background like this it will be transparent okay very cool now let's hide this and let's try to create the texture of the water in the shadows that we have seen in this image quick pause if you are interested in creating amazing visuals like these using photo manipulation the photo manipulation ultimate guide course is now available you can find it in the description in this course i will teach you all the techniques that i used to create these visuals we will talk about the basics of composition rules we will talk about how to blend images together how to correct lightness values how to correct the saturation and the colors and how to select complex shapes like plants and how to paint light and shadow precisely and accurately also how to add depth to your visuals using atmospheric perspective and finally we will talk about how to create color grading for the composite using camera raw filter and how to add some special effects in the end the link for the course in the description and you will find a whatsapp number if you want to ask me anything about the course don't miss the chance and let's get back to the video as you can see in this image the shadows have some jaggy texture as you can see right now so how can we do this we will try to do this by simply going to the filter and filter gallery and let's go to distort and glass as you can see right now it gives you the effect of the glass texture very good we can play with the properties nice and then press ok it's very nice we can do the same thing into the lights so I will simply uh, drag it press alt and drag it and put it into the lights very nice maybe we exaggerate it into the effect it's too much I think but it's okay we can change it later because it's already a smart filter if we don't like it we can change it later now let's give it a color because of course uh, the shadows should have some color bluish tone into the colors of the shadows and the same thing in the highlights so I will press ctrl H to bring the hue saturation adjustment and press colorize and let's give it a color of blue give it a saturated one and let's play with oh we need to before doing this we need to convert this layer into smart object because we don't want the blend if effect to affect the hue saturation coloring that we are doing so if we are playing around with the hue saturation this will be affected with blend f effect so if we want to not be affected with it I will simply right click convert to smart object and we will do the same thing with the lights layer and then you can press ctrl H colorize and give it whatever the color that you want maybe we can make it a little bit brighter very nice let's just press alt and drag the effect and put it into the lights but this time I will 
increase the lightness like so very cool now let's press ok and now we have the highlights the shadows of the man and basically this is making the form or the three-dimensionality of the hands and that is exactly what we want of course we will not leave it as it is right now so I will uh, select these two layers put them into a group press ctrl G and then try to remove it the effect I will try to remove it from um, all over the body and put it into specific areas so let's I, I created a mask for the group and uh, inverted it and let's press control to select only this area and using the brush I will paint with the hard rounded brush I will paint simply in these areas only here in his hands and the other hand the same th the same thing with his neck but with some shape now we need to remove the original image these pixels needs to be removed so I will simply select this area and create a mask for the other one simple as this of course we need to invert it press ctrl I and let's get this back very cool now we have somehow snowy icy effect and of course it is transparent that is a major factor here so now let's try to put the other elements that will make it look like water we will do this by putting these bubbles this will shift the effect into more of a water effect okay but how can we put this effect only in these areas I will simply create a group and then we'll duplicate this mask by pressing alt and putting it into this group and then I will take this bubbles layer and put it into this group and now everything in this group will only be in these areas okay here we need to put in, could in consideration the form or the three-dimensionality of the object so we need to understand that this part of his hand is like a cylinder okay and this has also a form something like a cylinder but with a um, more defined edge and this his shoulder also like a sphere so we need to know the form of each part and according to that we will wrap the bubbles layer around it okay so let's start with his arms so I will try to make it like this maybe make it smaller put it here using warp I will try to warp it like this I think you understand the idea right now I'm trying to wrap it around his hand very cool put this layer into his arm but at this time we need to warp it to match the orientation or the shape of his biceps okay very cool of course take all the time in the world to make it perfect then press enter and we will also duplicate this layer press alt to duplicate it try to put it in the corresponding place it's maybe we can create a mask and let's erase these areas now it looks like water it looks more like water this is the process I'm simply trying to define the shape and the form of this uh, of his body and trying to wrap this layer around it and I will leave all the images that I'm using right now for you uh, to apply along with me in the description okay let's create another one 
another mask and let's erase it very nice very nice let's duplicate this area press ctrl t right click flip horizontal to make the form or the shape of his chest or very nice and do the same process again and again that's it there's nothing else so it's all about understanding the form and then trying to apply it so i'm going to speed up the process of this part and get back to you okay very nice you can take all the time in the world to make it perfect but this is quickly how I did it and the next thing we can bring some water splashes like this and put them around our guy so let's take this one and try to put it into the edges the critical edges like the intersection or the transition between the skin and the water effect so for example we can put it here and adapt it like this i think and then we can mask it with the brush very nice and take it and put another duplicate from it and put it into this area and at the same time you can have more splashes like this so for example let's bring this one and put it behind our guy like this make it small very small and put it for example right here maybe another one and put it right here. this one again and put it right here this will make some flow I think uh, we are s simply trying to put some splashes behind and in front of the guy to make him like immersed into water and that's it that's it guys that's how I created the, the water effect of course here I took my time to make it perfect and as you can see it's already a transparent object so whenever you move the objects in the background, it is transparent. I did the same effect here, as you can see, but in a better way. And of course, with some retouching, some lens flares. So let me quickly make a break, a breakdown for the whole visual for you. So firstly, we created this background by three duplicates. A solid color, a vignetting effect using a darker but saturated more bluish color and then created the lights effect coming from the bottom with another color which is bright but it's not totally white. This is the background. Then we started to put our guy and of course we selected these areas, we removed it and at the same time I Re changed the color of the bottle into more uh, cyanish and bright one this is for the man and next put the water part here as you can see it's already transparent but we have highlights we have shadows let me show you we have shadows we have highlights and I was thinking about having some mid-tones but I thought that we need to remove these mid-tones because we need to keep it transparent next I put the bubbles effect and it is basically a bunch of warped layers that's it the same way we did like I've already told you okay and next I put the splashes behind and in front of the guy to make the overall water vibes next i put the label of nestle and some splashes in front of our guy some splashes to enhance the transition between the guy and the skin and the water effect here also and 
The last thing was the text effect, the, the TOV, the message itself. Next, I created some glow effect. It's basically a glow effect you, uh, made by a simple soft rounded brush and an overall glow to make it, it pop more or to make like some water reflections. And the final one was color grading. It's basically some um, adjustment layers. So this is color balance. So I'm shifting the colors toward more cyanish yellowish tones and bright contrast one to increase the contrast and some grain effect as you can see here is before and here is after it adds to the visual all right guys that was it i hope you like it so this was like a quick tutorial and a breakdown for this visual if you want more of this kind of uh, episodes please let me know in the comments and let me know what's your opinion about the visual overall visual and how can we enhance it if you have an idea that will be welcomed and again if you are interested in learning photo manipulation i have a full course premium course you will find it in the description it's a fully narrated course have all the stock images the brushes used the psd files all the images used in the description all right guys see you in the next episodes peace